We're often asked how does getting divorced work? It is important to remember that the rules in Scotland are quite different to those in England. In Scotland, we have what is called no fault grounds. And this means that neither party will be penalised financially for their conduct during the marriage. In this video, I'm going to explain the process for obtaining a divorce in Scotland. My name is Faye Donald and I am a partner in the family law team at Rayburn Christie, Clark and Wallace. You may find the following information useful if your marriage has come to an end. In Scotland, if a married person wishes to end their marriage, they are required by law to apply to the court, most commonly the Sheriff Court, providing a reason or grounds for the divorce. If you have agreed how the assets and debts of the marriage will be dealt with, and have no children under the age of 16, you can apply for a divorce using the Simplified Divorce Procedure, which is a relatively quick and cost-effective process, provided that it is not opposed by your spouse. If you have managed to agree how the financial aspects of the separation will be dealt with, but you do have children under the age of 16, you will be required to divorce using what is called the Ordinary Divorce Procedure. This will necessitate you and a witness providing the court with information regarding the care arrangements for the children, amongst other things. In order to apply for a divorce in Scotland, you need to either establish that your marriage has broken down irretrievably, or less commonly, that one of you is applying for a gender recognition certificate. As I say, irretrievable breakdown of a marriage is the most common reason and can be proven if there has been unreasonable behaviour, adultery, you both agree to the divorce and you have lived apart for at least one year, or where consent has not been provided, but you have lived separately for a period of two years. Once you have established any one of these four reasons, you can then apply for a divorce. If possible, it is better to try to agree on the care arrangements for any children of the marriage and how the assets and debts of the marriage will be divided in a separation agreement. If you are able to do this, the divorce process is likely to be quicker, more cost effective and most importantly, less stressful for you. If you are unable to agree on these matters, the court can be asked to adjudicate, which is often time consuming and costly. I hope that this has been helpful to you and to find out more about separation agreements or arrangements for your children following a separation, you might find some of the other videos in this series helpful. You can start a conversation with me or another one of our knowledgeable and friendly solicitors by following the link in the description below to fill out a contact form and we will be happy to call you back to discuss your particular circumstances.